Hi, welcome to another secret car parts. Now this is just absolute basic stuff you should have to keep in your car or with you. Flashlight, a couple of common tools. You should always have your phone with you in case something breaks and then you get a ride or whatever or help. A nice pair of jumper cables is really good then if your battery dies or you leave lights on you can get her going if you get help from another vehicle and this you should keep or buy one for your vehicle this is a half inch drive extendable ratchet it's got my top my car since they're offset I need a uh, the spacer bar or the extension and then you need the appropriate socket for your vehicle and you got to make sure it fits right now the things missing that i don't have that we used up is uh, a tire plug kit and that's also good to have and to learn how to use it as well as an air compressor and a regular hydraulic jack just a small one but the ratchet and the jack will get you back on the road in half the time it would normally take to use the factory supplied wrench and jack which are used to get pain in the asses and stuff like that but uh and then you don't have to like you can buy as good quality one as you like but uh this is a princess auto piece i'm pretty sure And that's Stanley. This is, I think that's impact, impact socket, so I could use it for when I use impact. But uh, the impact gun is also really handy to keep, to keep handy anyway. One sec. The impact gun, if you choose to keep one, like I use this to break the nuts loose and then to do the final hand torquing, but this thing here can cut your time way down because you're not stuck spinning all the nuts. You can just spin them on and off really quick. I mean, if you buy a good one, and this one was kind of weak, a good one will bust the nuts loose off the stud, but... This is still gentler, and uh, less likely to mess up the threads on anything. Still very handy. And that's... Okay, when you put a tire on, you should always make sure it's flat to your brake rotor. So it's like real flat. And then uh, even if you have to sit there and hold it and put a couple nuts on with... Uh, put a couple of nuts on with your ratchet and socket where you're holding the tire. Just to make sure it's flat because if it's flat, it won't fall off. But if it's not flat, then it can break off and shear off the nuts. And the tire plug, it'd be good to use or read the instructions. It does take a little bit of strength, but uh, it is also very handy. And like I say, the, only, the things missing from the table are a decent small hydraulic jack and an air compressor. If you do keep these, make sure you keep it. If you do keep the air, air uh, the impact in your vehicle, always make sure it's charged up. Especially when you're going far. Because even new tires go flat. You can hit something on the road. But uh, it always helps to be prepared. And just these two things and a hydraulic jack. You'll be back on the road in minutes. Whereas with the factory stuff can take about half hour or so. Or even more. Because usually that 
factory stuff is kind of useless and uh it isn't the smoothest operation the factory stuff anyway but these, all this stuff is basically stuff you should be carrying around in your car now there is technology where you could keep a like an inverter and uh I've even seen compressors, I think, that can jumpstart a battery, so that would cancel this out, but that's also something you'd have to keep charged. Whereas this is simple, and then if you get another vehicle, or if you're in a parking lot or whatever, you, if someone stops, you can get a boost usually pretty easy. But very, very handy to have. And even if you only have one tool, I would carry either one of these. Because, like... This can disconnect your battery, and if, like, uh, my uncle had an instance where he got a truck fixed, but, uh, it wasn't fixed correctly, and the vehicle was starting by itself, and, and it started smoking, and, uh, he needed to disconnect the battery quickly, so I had to go down and see him and, uh, take some tools and stuff like that, but personally, if it was me and I just have this stuff, I could disconnect the battery, and that would stop that, and then stop a fire then I, usually i keep a a fire extinguisher in the car too and that's mostly for accidents and stuff like that and modern vehicles don't usually start on fire but uh if you come across an accident and stuff like that you can kind of put it out i ran into instance one time where that if i had a, if i would have had one i could have stopped a fire as it was just starting but uh so that's what made me want to keep the fire extinguisher well those are some basic things